Hey traders, today we're going to be talking about how to draw trend lines on Thinkorswim. Uh, we're also going to talk about how to customize those trend lines. You can change the color, you can uh, extend them, and a couple of other very useful features. And then we're also going to talk about some settings uh, that you should customize from the default settings to make it even easier to get very accurate trend lines on your charts. So let's get right into it. Uh, to answer the main question, how to draw trend lines, it's quite simple. There's two ways to do it. The first way is to first find the stock or index that you would like to chart and draw trend lines on. Right click on the chart, click on drawings, drawing tools, and here's your trend line button, which will bring up this pencil icon. And from here, you can click on where you want to add your trend line the first way. Uh, right click and this is going to start your trend line and then you can extend it to where you want to end it and let's say you wanted to end it here uh, this way it gives you a trend line uh, but one thing is this isn't necessarily the most accurate way which is why I want to show you some settings that you should probably adjust uh, the second way to add trend lines is to click on this drawings button right here this is a little bit easier this is you know probably one of the better ways to do it in my opinion just right click on drawings drawing tools and then trend lines and it brings up the same pencil and you do it the same way so what I'm talking about with the settings is right here on your chart is your chart settings button it looks like this little gear icon uh, from here just click on chart settings and it brings this up and you'll see snap drawings too and by default it'll say none I like to change this to OHLC, which stands for Open, High, Low, Close. And what this does is instead of just clicking on your chart and hoping you get the exact level that you want, it snaps it to those levels. It'll be either at the high, the low, the open, or the close of the candle. And so as you can see, instead of just you know ending exactly where we click it ends at these very specific levels which gives you very clean and accurate trend lines that way we can know that our trend line is touching the very exact top of this candle and the exact top of this candle instead of just clicking and guessing this gives us more accurate trend lines so now that you know how to draw trend lines and the setting that I like to use to increase the trend line accuracy, uh, I want to talk about customizing these trend lines a little bit. So what you can do after you have your trend line drawn is just right click on your trend line, click on edit properties, and from here you can adjust the color. So for me, on different time frames, I like to have different colors. So let's say on the short time frame, the one minute chart, you have the blue, and then on the you know 30 minute chart you can have different color trend lines uh, that's what I like to do to make it easier to understand exactly which trend line is from what time frame without having to zoom back and forth uh, the next thing is you can right click on the trend line and extend to the right or extend to the left and as you can see this just brings your trend line all the way to the left or all the way to the right and this will keep your trend lines constantly on your chart even as time goes by and you get more and more candles this trend line will stay there and it will pretty much forever be on your chart unless you want to change that uh, you can also while you're in the properties you can adjust the exact level let's say you didn't maybe get the exact price point that you want to start and end your trend line at uh, in this value section you can kind of delete and re-enter but as you can see we have uh, spot on accuracy uh, the high point is 4723.5 and that's exactly where our trend line starts and then here's where our trend line ends at 4714.25 uh, so you can just kind of double check that the trend lines are in the exact location that you want uh, one last thing that I'll show you guys is you can also right click on the trend line and click duplicate drawing and this will give you an exact copy of the same trend line and this can be very useful for creating a channel let's say you wanted to create a channel or a range uh, within your trend line 
Uh, this gives you an exact duplicate and instead of having to redraw that out and everything, it just pretty much does that for you. So you can see we kind of drew uh, a trend line here. It's a duplication of the first one we drawn. So it's pretty easy to draw trend lines on Thinkorswim. I've had some people asking me, you know, how do I draw the trend lines or how do I change the color? Uh, stuff like that. So I just wanted to make a, a video to show you guys how to do that. Uh, so hopefully that answers some of your questions. If you have any more questions about how to do pretty much anything on Thinkorswim, definitely feel free to drop a comment. Uh, let me know, you know, what you what guys would like to see, and I'll definitely try to make a video for that. So as always, guys, thanks for watching uh, the video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop a comment below, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.